Welcome to the Bibles for America podcast. The title of today's podcast is How I Learned to Touch the Lord in a Simple Way. In this podcast, we'd like to share a Bibles for America staff member's testimony of learning how to touch the Lord. We hope you enjoy it. As a child, the Bible was a mysterious book to me because I didn't have much exposure to it. I think we had a family Bible somewhere in the house, but I can't remember ever picking it up and reading it. All I knew about the Bible was that it was a book religious people referred to, and like most Americans, I was familiar with a few stories about Jesus, such as how he was born and how he died. But I dismissed the Bible as irrelevant and out of date. Until one day when a friend and I were walking down the street and two young men stopped us to talk about Jesus. At first, I was contentious, thinking I knew what they were going to say. But after a few minutes, I was disarmed by a penetrating gospel I had never heard before. I received the Lord Jesus as my Savior that very hour. The next day, I met up with the same Christian brothers and their wives and children at a nearby park, They showed me verses in the Bible to help me understand more about my spiritual birth and how to go on as a believer in Christ. Knowing everything was new to me, they gave me some booklets to read at home. I'll never forget the first booklet I read. It was A Simple Way to Touch the Lord by Witness Lee. It was astounding. It answered my burning questions in a clear and thorough way. The Lord knew the things I was wondering about and personally spoke to me through every word. This portion of the booklet helped me immensely through those first crucial days as a believer. How can we touch and experience Christ in a practical way as our very life, moment by moment? The Lord has given us a simple way. All we have to do is call upon Him and we will touch him who is the life-giving supply. The booklet didn't tell me that the next step after I received the Lord Jesus was for me to improve my behavior or work for God. Instead, it gave me a way to touch the God of the universe. Further on in this gem of a booklet, I was attracted by these words. When we believed into him, he as the Spirit came into our spirit the deepest part of our being, to be our life and everything to us. Today, He as the Spirit is like the air to us, so fresh and so available. When we cry, Lord, or Amen, or Hallelujah, we take Him into us as the life-giving breath, supplying us with all the riches of Himself. I had never dreamed God could be available to me, just like the air, and that I could breathe him in. All these statements were based on verses in the Bible, which had suddenly become alive to me. The booklet explained that in John chapter 20, verse 21, the resurrected Lord appeared in the closed room where the disciples were gathered and spoke a comforting word to them, Peace be to you. Verse 22 says, And when he had said this, He breathed into them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. As I continued to read, my eyes were opened. I saw that the only way he could live in the disciples was to change his physical form and become the Spirit, as clearly stated in 1 Corinthians 15.45. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. Formerly, he was among the disciples, talking to them and traveling with them in his earthly body. But in resurrection, he became the spirit who could enter into them. And when I was saved, he came into me. As marvelous as this realization was, I didn't experience his being the life-giving spirit in me until I learned how to touch him in my spirit. The words in Romans chapter 10, verses 12 and 13 jumped off the page. For the same Lord is Lord of all and rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
I was so happy to know I was not only saved and that the Lord Jesus lived in me, but that I could also experience Christ and his salvation every time I call on his name. And it wasn't complicated or hard to do. It indeed was simple, but I felt like I had made a profound discovery. One portion at the end of the booklet gives some excellent advice. From deep within, just breathe, O Lord, Amen, Hallelujah, and you will taste the sweetness and reality of Christ Himself. You will begin to realize more and more that His life is truly a saving life. Since I discovered in my late teens how to touch the Lord, many years of breathing in the Lord and calling on His name have gone by. By this simple way, I can testify that I've experienced Christ saving me and being rich to me in countless ways. The booklet referred to in this testimony is included as Chapter 2 in Basic Elements of the Christian Life, Volume 2. You can read or download Volume 2 of Basic Elements of the Christian Life for free at biblesforamerica.org slash books. To listen to more podcasts, visit BiblesForAmerica.org and click on the Media tab, or subscribe to the Bibles for America podcast on iTunes. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, grace be with you.